last year, 10th of May 2019, I was admitted to hospital uh, for blocked aorta that I didn't have, or didn't know I had then. Uh, I went for lots of tests and stuff, and I had to go for lots of operations. Uh, it was a bit tough, not knowing if you're going to survive or not. And the reality of everything setting in plays a lot on your mind. Then adapting again after being in a car accident 16 years ago. Now losing a leg, not knowing if you're going to live. Put strain on your mind and your body. Being in hospital for 10 months, lying on your back, or not lying on your back, lying on your sides, it's also kind of rough being turned every two hours so that you can heal. Lots of not sleeping, medications keeping you drowsy. Going to theatre basically every other week it takes a big toll. Being back home has its new challenges. Getting back into society, uh, the body is not quite ready for that as well. Being much more active now, getting yourself around. All new challenges, uh, your hygiene, total different regime now. I had to renovate the house so that I can live comfortably there without struggling getting into a bath in and out, between kitchen counters, small things you have to think about, reaching stuff, being a short person now. Getting into the car now is a challenge as well, using a transfer board, not using it before. Lots of things to get used to. In Going like shopping. Oh yeah. well, now finding a job, being useful <laughs> being useful in society again. Um, just getting around basically, not lots of places are wheelchair friendly yet. Um, so you have to do a lot of planning before you go somewhere. Hoping that there's parking and somebody didn't take it is a reason for it. You can't go do shopping pretty much alone. Always have to have somebody with you pulling a trolley or carrying your stuff, reaching for stuff. Um, I've also started a GoFundMe page just to do basically day-to-day -day stuff, affording stuff. Lost being in a hospital actually. It was very really financial taxing. So I started a GoFundMe page, you can go check it out if you like. It's to support Peter Ludovic Greer. I also have a Facebook page that you can go look at. I'm running a raffle as well just to get some donations in. Um, I would love any other kind of support and love and help. Um, so yeah, check me out on Facebook, most social media. Um, if there's any questions you can just send me a message. Uh, thank you for all the support that I have, all the guys that have been sticking around, people going above and beyond. Thank you so much. It's appreciated. It means a lot. And I made it through this. There's tough days ahead for everybody. Well, everybody has tough days. I mean, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Stay positive.